gonna run to the store and get a few things. I'll pick you up when you're done. Okay. I, I like it a little better when you stay, but all right. <laughs> hey, Sheldon. Hello. I'm here for my haircut with Mr. D'Onofrio. I'm sorry. Uncle Tony's in the hospital. He's pretty sick. Oh, dear. Mr. D'Onofrio's in the hospital. Why do these things always happen to me? <laughs> I could cut it for you. You're not Mr. D'Onofrio. I get my haircut by Mr. D'Onofrio. Do you believe this guy? <laughs> Excuse us for a second. Sheldon, it's okay. He can do it. He's a barber. He's not a barber. He's the nephew. <laughs> He's an example of the kind of nepotism that runs rampant in the barbering industry. <laughs> and besides, Mr. D'Onofrio knows exactly how I like my hair done because he has all my haircut records from my barber in Texas. <laughs> what are you talking about? When I first moved here, I was nervous about finding a new barber, so my mother had all my haircut records sent here to Mr. D'Onofrio. <laughs> There's no such thing as haircut records. Yes, there are. <laughs> Have you ever seen them? No, but my mother assured me they were sent here, and I'll bet you dollars to donuts that this one doesn't have them. Uh, excuse me. Do you have access to my haircut records? You what? To paraphrase T.S. Eliot, this is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but with a nephew. <laughs> Sheldon, you're a grown man. He's a professional, and your haircut is number three on that poster from 1946. <laughs> Just sit down and let him do it. Fine. But if I come out of this looking like a dork, it's on you. <laughs> So my kid said the funniest thing today. Nope. When you tell this story later, the word we usually use is quirky. Can you pass the Parmesan cheese? Sure. <laughs> what are you doing? trying to get the hair out of my eyes. Sheldon, you are one day late for your haircut. Thank you for captioning my nightmare. <laughs> Looky here, I got my travel orders. <laughs> Payload specialist Howard Wolowitz is requested to report to the NASA Johnson Space Center, Houston, Texas, for astronaut training Monday, 8 a.m. Yeah, but it's from NASA, so it's 0800. <laughs> but it says 8 a.m. <laughs> You read it as 0800. It doesn't have an O in front of it. You know, it does have an O in front of it. Oh my God, I'm an astronaut and you're dying of jealousy. So what kind of things are the way you stop that? I can't help it. I feel like a teen heartthrob. You know, Sheldon, I used to cut my brother's hair. I could do it for you. Penny. I know you mean well, offering the skills of the hill folk, but um, <laughs> here in town, we don't churn our own butter, we don't uh, make dresses out of gunny sacks, and uh, we sure as shoot and don't get our hair cut by a bottle Sheldon, one. be nice. I'm sorry, it's the bad boy attitude that comes with this hair. <laughs> you could go to my guy. He's at Juan Juan in Beverly Hills. They bring you a cup of tea, they'll massage your scalp. It's about $200, but sometimes you look in the next chair and you see a superstar like Tony Danza. Okay, a quick question here. Have we actually changed the conversation from I'm going to astronaut training to Sheldon can't get a haircut? Now who's dying of jealousy? Oh, it's you. Hi. Hi, sweetie. I miss you. I miss you, too. So, tell me all about your first day. Oh, wow. Uh, where do I even start? I got to experience zero gravity. Cool. How do they do that? Well, it's pretty neat. You get in this plane that goes almost straight up for, like, 20 seconds, and then straight back down like it's going to crash. And <laughs> they do it over and over again, you know, no matter how many times you throw up. You threw up? Yeah. And the craziest part is, because there's no gravity, the throw-up kind of floats there. <laughs> in a little ball. And if your mouth is open, because you're screaming, <laughs> sometimes it just floats right back in. 
Boy, does everyone laugh at you when that happens. That sounds mean. No. Yeah, I would have laughed too, but I didn't want the vomit to come back out. <laughs> anyway. Oh, could you do me a favor and overnight me some more underwear? Sure, why? Well, I got to look at the centrifuge they're going to spin me around in tomorrow, and I have a hunch I packed a little light. 